well, I'm getting I'm getting the green light to go ahead and really emphasize this part there, uh, United States Army. And I've told you, when I joined the Army, you hooked me up to the federal government Skynet, which makes every government official hacked, basically. Once you're affiliated with the United States government, they consider you one of their drones, I guess. So when you join the military, you sign paperwork. So there's probably rhetoric in there uh, that states that, you know, your government property or something. So that gives them the right compared to whoever's hacking our civilians. So it's almost like they, it's necessary for the government to hack our minds because there's other governments that can hack our minds. So it's kind of like a defense mechanism, I guess. It's still wrong. You should tell the truth that our minds are being hacked by, you know, satellites and things of that nature. But what I wanted to point out, you know, I've talked about the migraines and everything and how they mysteriously disappeared when I joined the Army. Uh, and that's when y'all linked me up to the Skynet, which is in Terminator. And that's true. There is a Skynet. General Portray Us talked about it. The next generation uh, internet where items of interest will be targeted, identified, located and their minds will be penetrated with tiny embedded servers and things of that nature. You can look that up. It's actually on the CIA's website where he talked about it. It's a quote from General Portray Us that tells you exactly what the Skynet is. Okay, that's uh, what it is. So when I joined the Army, and I didn't know, you know like I said, I had the uh, migraines and everything, but I didn't, I wasn't aware that I was being linked up to anything. However, my migraines, or that sojourner that you'll read about in the Bible that I got out in Buck and Adeline's field, probably were aware, right? And I think those migraines set you up, to be honest with you, Skynet, because like I said, I had no clue. And the one way that it set you up unbelievably is I joined the Army when I was 17, and that's when y'all attached me to your Skynet and you put the technology in me. So I was a minor. So you molested a minor's mind, and this is just really good karma for me, right? So basically, you hacked a prophet, because whatever you want to call it, I got a sojourner migraines in my mind that hacked the Skynet, right, and pulled off 9 11. Of course, you know, that was a cosmic entity that was delivered to me out in the field, and my neighbor's names were Buck and Adeline. So when I joined the Army as a miner, and they molested my mind, it hacked the Skynet, just like you'll see in Terminator, and that controlled the Skynet to pull off 9-11, and then if you'll watch all my videos, it explains all of the symbolism, so that when it's all said and done, it's just like Dick Cheney shot down a plane to save you know, thousands of people's lives. Well, you pull off 9-11, an emergency that tell the world that they're hacking our minds and turning us into fucking robots, and you call the Cosmos at the same time, 911 ET phone home. So that tells the Cosmos, hey, <coughs> uh, they're, you know, hacking the entire world's minds. They're probably planning genocide or something like that. They're going to turn us all against each other. So, once the story's out, everybody that's gonna would have think originally, man, this guy's a super villain. He pulled off 9-11. Well, not necessarily, because at the end of the day, after the world hears this story, and they're gonna hear it, okay, I don't mind. Point your finger at me. Tell everybody I pulled off 9-11 or my migraines did. It makes no difference to me. Because all I gotta do is explain that Dick Cheney shot down an airplane to save thousands of people's lives. And with all that's going on right now, the world will probably go, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You pointed out that they were gonna hack our minds and turn us into, uh, you know, zombie slaves so that we can eat each other, basically. Uh, if you haven't noticed, everybody's losing their fucking minds lately. I mean, they, they got, got so much mind control now that it can convince you to wear a mask for a virus that you got to take a test to find out whether or not you got it and the death rate's less than 0. 0.0003. So the idea is to genocide billions of people off of the face of the planet. But by the time I get done explaining all of the symbolism and the world hears this story, Terminator from uh, the movie John 316, they're going to realize 
that that wasn't really that evil because, you know, what's 5,000 lives when you save billions? Because that's what they're saying they're doing right now with the coronavirus, right? All of our lives were completely interrupted and destroyed, basically. Our, well, not destroyed. Mine was when they attacked me and waterboarded me to extract information from me. The United States government did that. They're doing that minority report style all over the country, and they're attacking profits all over the country. That's what minority report's about. That's what they did to me. Anybody that's got a spiritual connection or a cosmic connection, yeah, the Skynet's using them and, and, and basically turning them into slaves, and that's targeted individuals all over the country, okay? So that's all going to come tumbling down, too. And they're using it for their own benefit, but they thought they were. They didn't realize they got set up this entire time by the very prophets who they hacked. Because a Billy Badass prophet came down here this time, was working behind the scenes, if you haven't noticed. So, yeah, I don't think it's going to be hard to tell the world that the reason that 9-11 happened was because my migraines hacked your illegal Skynet and pulled all that off to tell the world what was going on. Twin Towers, building number seven or the seven doors that hack our minds came down. The two towers is where they create a digital copy of yourself, put it up in their matrix, and then the electromagnetic signal is driven down to your mind uh, via artificial intelligence and microwaves and things of that nature to drive you around like a meat suit. It's a 5G cult is what it is. They got satellites out there. They got the cellular platforms, the whole nine yards. Everything's connected. And they want to create one big Borg. There's a company named Borg Warner. That would be me. So all of you uh, who would have disdain for somebody that pulled off 9-11 or the migraines that were inside of him that hacked the Skynet and pulled that off, just remember, <coughs> they were about to kill everybody if I didn't do that. Light in the air. Will you call God? Dial 911. Tell him to deliver to the world a message from me. Sad am who's sane.